a lot of the time when clients are in conflict, they can't look past their conflict to be able to be the best parents they can be. They often come to mediation without a clear understanding of how arrangements are going to be going forward. So special occasions, school holidays, and sometimes there's some, some anxiety and concern around having that conversation every time it rolls around. So to have a plan often is quite reassuring for parents. It's really powerful for clients to know that when the communication's good between them, that really fizzles down to their children and what's best for them. We make a very strong point in mediation of what's the best thing for your children, what's the plan moving forward for them. It's very hard, I think, for people to be generous when they're feeling pain around separation, but if parents can make that transition into just focusing on what their children need, that's fantastic. Often what sits at the heart of dispute is an inability to say what it is that you want and to hear what the other person is asking for as well and to find a common ground. When people come up with a plan moving forward that can be quite empowering for both parents and it can take away the anxiety of not knowing what's going to happen the next day or the following week. If clients do need to come back to the service that's fine, circumstances change, children's needs change. Children do need to have a a warm and loving relationship, the best they can have, with both parents. By coming to mediation, sometimes they've cleared the air about some of the things that were sort of tripping them up, if you like, and causing uh, disputes or conflict. People are just human and we all fall into our own patterns of behaviour every now and again and that can lead us back into conflict. So being able to feel comfortable enough to come back to a family relationship centre and ask for help to just pick up from where things are at and to make improvements is a bit of gold.